Okay, well today we're trying two new rocket engines. They're made by glued PVCS before. We had the half inch, we had the three quarter inch. This is a little longer than the last time. My last two failed. They were packed powder and I believe that the packed powder is going unstable when it gets over about 150-200 PSI. Uh, last time this one fragmented into a million pieces which indicates I probably hit 3,000 PSI but we, we're not sure. This time I cooked the fuel and packed it in there when it was still warm. I don't have high confidence in either one of these because um, the fuel was getting pretty cold by the time I put it in there and I believe this one's going to have a lot of bubbles. I didn't get a lot of fuel in there. It's probably pretty porous. This one's a little bit better shape. This one may actually burn like I expect. I don't have inhibitors. I'm hoping there's enough case contact in both to work as inhibitors. The fuel this time I colored with green food coloring. So there it is. And you can see that it's not real smooth in most ways. Not like putty. So uh, again, I, I don't have high confidence on these. I'm going to pack these with sandbags to contain any explosions so there's no injuries or anything of the like this time. Okay, this is the half inch tube first.
Well, that burn test was outstanding. Um, if you notice towards, if you notice towards the end, the um, burn rate rate went way up, and that's because there was air pockets down at the bottom end that didn't come out. At least that's my prediction, and that caused the surface area to go way up. The tubes did not cato. The nozzles did have a tremendous amount of erosive wear, especially on the three quarter inch. You can see the hole's pretty big. Um, which means that's probably not a viable nozzle approach that a metal nozzle insert would be appropriate, metal or graphite. Anyway, uh, they burned as predicted, did not catastrophically explode, seemed stable, so I'm quite pleased. Good deal.